Well guys, we are finally gonna paint the frame. As you can see, it's no longer here. It's outside. I'm actually gonna be washing it before. But before we go out there, let's go over the game plan in here. So first of all, we're gonna start with a good wash. Got some crud cutter, just put it in the spray bottle. So I'm gonna go out there, it's out there on the forklift, and spray this on the entire frame. This is gonna get rid of the grease, grime, oil, anything that might, that might not allow the paint to etch into the frame. The crud cutter should get rid of it. And then we are gonna go with the Eastwood Rust Encapsulator Platinum. That will go through, so that's gonna go through and seal all, well, there's not really rust anymore, I clean it up, but any rust that might be there still, it's gonna seal that over it, stop it, as well as just be a good primer for the top coat. Top coat, we got some KBS black top. I hear this is really good stuff, it is, hard but not and so you kind of want that you kind of want that in between stage with frame paint because it's going to get chips and stuff and if it's too hard the rocks are going to chip just chip away at the paint but if it's too soft then it's not going to really protect things so from my research this seems like a good top coat for frames and there's really good reviews on it so i guess let's head outside and go over the frame so the frame is pretty much how you guys saw it last um, the only changes are I added this rear frame brace that came with the truck. So I was like, eh, let's throw that on there. Cleaned up the holes for the exhaust that were there. Um, whoever did it just did it with like a plasma cutter. So they were super rough. But yeah, so what I'm going to be doing with this crud cutter is I'm literally just going to be spraying it. And then you let it soak for... I don't know, 15 minutes, rinse it off with the water, and then I'll probably do another, I'll probably do it twice. But yeah, this is just gonna soak in everything, and then this also has some etching, so it will help the um, rust encapsulator etch into the metal as well. So I'm just gonna go over this whole thing real fast, and then we'll let it soak. have the whole thing sprayed down and holy cow this stuff you can tell this is good stuff just by the way it is but yeah no you can tell here because see how dark that is coming off here that means that that is just all the oil and grime that was on here that is literally just getting eaten away by this stuff so that's when you know you have the good stuff Okay, it's actually the next day. I got everything washed, and now you can see that it is hanging up here. Just have it hanging from the lift with these washers. That way there's a little, there's a little amount of um, frame that's not gonna get painted because of the washers, and then I can just do that afterwards. But, yesterday we got everything washed, and then after you wash it, don't think that you're done. Um, Make sure before you even paint, I got, as you can see, I got the subframe done as well. So even just because you washed it, it doesn't mean that it's gonna be perfectly clean. So once you bring it back in, wipe everything down again with uh, some type of acetone or some type of grease remover like that. I already did that. So I think I am pretty much ready to get into painting. So here we have the rust encapsulator. Now this stuff, I think, dries pretty quick, so you want to do it fast. I went and bought a bunch of cheap brushes from Ace that I will be using. Some soft bristle, br soft bristle brushes. Say that five times fast. And then, yeah, once you use them, they're done, so just get the cheap ones. So, yeah, I'm just going to be going through and starting 
gonna try and do this somewhat strategically. Get the nooks and crannies first because I hear, I hear that if you get this stuff on you, it's a real bear. So I'm gonna try to do it without that happening. So I'm gonna wear gloves and everything and then, yeah, just start, start the nooks and crannies. Probably do the inside first and then the outside. We got the rust encapsulator on there. Came out pretty good. Um, I don't know. I don't know if I was just doing it wrong, but seemed to have some brush strokes in there, which I don't know. I don't know if that'll come through on the top coat, but I don't know. We'll see. If I did it again, yeah, you can kind of see there. If I did it again, I would probably spray it. I don't know if it's worth, cause me it was like, it was like sweet. I don't have to set up a booth or anything and worry about it, the overspray and everything, but I don't know if it's really worth it. Kind of, it takes forever. So I don't know if I'd do this method again. I'd probably spray, spray it if I was to do it again. But at the same time, I'm not super worried about the frame. It's under the truck and I ain't no professional, so it is what it is. So we're gonna be moving on to the top coat here. This is the KBS black top. So open that up, stir it up good and start applying. Never, ever again will I ever do that. It's 
been like five hours took me to paint that frame both times so total of between eight to ten hours of painting and I don't know, didn't really turn out as good as I was hoping I don't know why I was expecting more like obviously it looks good it's shiny and it's black so that's fine but you can definitely see some brush strokes in there as you can see and I'm not I'm not super worried about it just because it's the frame and this isn't like I'm building this insane show truck it's literally just a truck I'm gonna drive around so I don't really care that much but it's like I don't want you to spend that much time on it you kind of want it to be perfect definitely looks better but so would I recommend it no I wouldn't if I ever do it again I think the product's good I'm fine with the product but I don't think the brushing application um I don't think the brushing application is the best and it could have been I noticed towards the end like up here um you don't see you don't see the brush brush strokes as much I just wonder if it's because it cooled down and so it wasn't drying as fast so it would level like it's supposed to um but I don't know here's what it is I'm just glad it's done because now we can start putting it back together so that's probably where I'm gonna end this one thank you guys for watching more to come I actually got a bunch of engine parts got my cam today and my lifters and everything so we can start taking that bad boy apart and throwing in the cam and upgrading or just putting new uh, new valve train in things like that and then we can get ready to put it in i'm still waiting for the motor mounts they're on their way and i think i'm gonna just build a transmission mount i don't I haven't decided yet I don't know if it's worth a couple hundred dollars of buying one when I could probably build one. Fairly simple. It's literally just a brace that goes across the frame, so it's not that hard. So I don't know. We'll see what we do. But anyways, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to don't forget to subscribe, and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace.